Oof, what up, amigos? How's everybody feeling today? Take a huge dump and eat some weird leftovers? Me too. How's it going? <laughs> Thank you. Mm, thanks, party on my block. Thanks for the new sub. Thanks, Soma and Jotaro. Uh, Hex Mage and Seven Big Nads threesome. Thanks, Slay. You guys got anything cool going on? Anything um, worth making fun of? Man, this December is trying to be exciting. <laughs> yeah, right Thank at the you. beginning, December 2nd, and then a bunch of stuff after that. It's going to be Thank cool. You. Stuff I didn't even know about, like uh, the Game Awards are like on the 8th, I think, and then, um, you know, Thank some you. other shit. Alien game in development by Let It Guide dev devs, apparently. Shut up, bitch. Uh, Gregory Horror Show 2003 Survival <laughs> Horror. Thank you. You too. Um, both of you guys need to fucking kiss right now. French. Stupid, annoying, yippity yappers. You gotta tell me something sick, dude. Something that is not dumb. Something cool. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Aruba. Uh, thanks, Ravioli. <laughs> Thank and El Ray and Big Boss. Flats and Steadiest Shark. And Master Shan. Pizza? Yeah, alright, I guess. Um, so far, so smooth. <laughs> so smooth. Thank you. Counter Strike knife for a thousand dollars. I sold a Counter Strike knife for a thousand dollars and bought a Steam Deck with some of the money. That's more like it than that guy too. You three have to kiss. Uh, but that is more like it. That sounds sick. Uh, but I wonder how much you spent to get the Counter Strike knife. That's the real question that needs answering, but can't be answered because <laughs> that guy's banned. He's busy kissing. Um, so, 10K? $2.50? Whoa. I think this guy's got something figured out. Nice. Uh, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Ken Lee and Count Markula. All right, fine. You don't have to kiss the first two guys. I traded up to a $150 knife when I still played. This guy's trying to get attention. Uh, listen, dude. You're not going to beat that last guy. <laughs> not with that weak-ass yeah. shit. You guys see him? Nice try. <laughs> this guy, he never gives up. Nice try. Uh, hey, thanks, Billy Hoyle. I like the attitude. Persistent. <laughs> Thanks, Melty Thank Gear and Tanner and everyone else. Good shit. Feeling good, it seems. Let me click the game and make sure this shit works. Uh oh. Oh, fucking shit. So why does it why does it do this every time? Logging into Dark Souls servers, but it never logs in. Are the servers for this game like gone or something? Forever? DS2 servers are down? Is that right? Huh. You could probably bypass this by that. going in offline mode on Steam, which I always Price. forget to do. <laughs> you get buried. You, you could say no. And then offline mode and continue. MK Martha Stew. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Alter Thank of you. the Sky. Uh, Black Friday special. Did you guys get anything cool? I streamed last night, and nobody in the chat seemed like they had bought any cool shit for Black Friday. You got a new guitar? That's pretty cool, if you like guitars. People love guitars. Like, a new guitar is, like, something really cool. Like, uh, I don't know. It's a very universally exciting thing, I guess. More exciting than a new lots of other stuff. Uh, thanks, Take Your Lumps and 8-Bit Decay. Enjoy the guitar. Uh, thanks, bros. Mm. Damn, why am I wearing this dumb hat? What does this dumb hat do again? Raises item discovery. That's pretty cool. Alright, fine. I guess I know why I'm wearing this dumb hat. Um... 
hey, you know one thing I was thinking about and I wanted to ask you guys? How do you make your role the same as Dark Souls 1 in this? Because you know, it still feels like shit, even with 105 agility. <laughs> Thank you. Why does it feel like shit? Wingstop with cheese sauce? I'm not into Wingstop anymore. Um, done with Wingstop. You need 115? Uh, let's see how many souls I have. Yeah, I think you're right, man. This this still feels kind of bunk. Let's see. Smelter Demon Soul. I'll eat it. I don't think I'm going to have enough for that many levels, though. We'll see. Um, Painful Queen Soul. I'll eat it. Rolling for Waldo. 26 adaptability feels fine for you. Yeah, but you don't have like a... You're just some dude, right? You're not like... A, you don't have like a, um, the palette for it. You know what I mean? Like, no offense, but... You know. You wouldn't know. Your palette is too like... Uh, um, you're a civilian. You don't have the expertise required to be able to feel this type of shit. You know. Mm, thanks, Nomad, and thanks, Willie, Jack, Mihoff, and Bright, and thanks, Medik, and Take Your Lumps. Yeah, he's a regular civilian. Hey, Nyans, how's it going? <laughs> Big smile. Thank you. Thanks, Ellis Beyond. What do you guys got in the chat? I'm eating all these souls and trying to get my adaptability up. A covetous demon soul? I'll eat it. How's your Friday? Pretty good so far. I'm breathing. How about yours? Skeleton Lord? Whatever, I'll eat it. You're gambling? Hey, good luck. Don't do anything crazy. Whose soul is this? Lost Sinner? I'll eat it. How much is that? 25k? What the fuck? 25k? That's a shitload. Damn, what up, girl? <laughs> Do a quick thumbnail real quick. Double quick. Let me level this shit up. Level up. Mm. So I need 39 of these? Damn. Are you sure it's 39? How much adaptability do I need? What's the next break point? I'm at 105. I'm gonna just keep going until it stops feeling like shit. 39? Yes. That was expensive. Alright, let's eat the rest of my souls and see how many more I could get. Uh, damn, I don't even have that many more. Ruin Sentinel. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Serpents of the Light, thanks. <laughs> Thank damn! You. Everybody get down. Thanks, Chaiwanese Amigu. 50 gifted subs? This guy means business. Hey, thanks, man. Happy Thanksgiving, though. I have a feeling you don't celebrate it. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you do. Uh, anyway, happy Thanksgiving. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. That's a lot of gifted subs. Uh, thanks again, Serpents of the Light, and Hector Putrid. <laughs> Happy Big thanks. Friday, and thanks. Mm, thanks, Ferocious Monk. You better be a pretty girl. Uh, Dragon Slayer Soul. I'm eating everything. Damn, look at all these little brand new gifted subs thanking Chaiwanese Amigu. Shoot those guys. <laughs> what do you think? You could fucking talk just because you got gifted a sub? Um, hey, thanks again, Chaiwanese Amigu. Uh, I was kidding. You don't really have to shoot them. That's pretty tight that you did, though. Uh, this guy's not even gifted and he's thanking him. God, they're dumb. Hey, how many more souls do I need? All of them? All of them. Thanks for all those gifted subs and everybody else. Billy Hoyle, the usual gang. Thanks for liking my stream. 
I am pretty good at video games. I will admit that. And you guys are very good at recognizing skill. So I'll give you credit for that too. Mm, 39, dude. Oh, man! What are the chances of using every consumable soul I have and getting to 39? That's tight. I got to 39. Uh, it's still gonna feel like shit, though, right? It feels no fucking different whatsoever. ATP suspect. You know what it is, dude? If you go between the two different, like all the different Souls games, these rolls, they don't snap in this game. When you roll in Souls games, you snap. It's like a action move. You pounce. In this game, you just roll like a fat so. You just roll like a little tumble fat roll, even when you're slim. But in the other games, you like snap. You know? Feels bad no matter what you do. And I just wasted all my souls. Are you sure, dude? 110 agility. I guess that makes sense. 39 adaptability for 110 agility. And it still feels like shit. That's great. Great. Another alien. Uh, it just gives you more iframes? Bummer. <laughs> Thank you. It still feels like, you know, sluggish. A little sluggy. Hey, I'm chilling. Thanks, Kerchais. Thanks, STA Who and Ferocious Monk and AKA Ghost and David Oniums. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Brand new guy. Mm. <laughs> Damn, you. J Baron 20 gifted. What's going on here? Is this related to Thanksgiving? Yeah. Excuse me. Thanks for gifting 20 subs, J Baron. Happy Big Friday. I just killed the Smelter Demon. Thanks. Yeah, it was a pretty good one for me. I had good food. I spent the day with my family. It was really fun. Mm. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Pretty much a home run. I think I said it last night. I can't even imagine it being better. It was like the perfect Thanksgiving. Damn, these guys are buff. Or maybe I'm weak. Still don't have a cool weapon. Oh yeah. Forgot about this. Oh, that guy like slams the floor or something? Oh boy. <laughs> Thank you. Um, is there an easy way to kill this guy? Close this door. Can I close this door? Where's he going? You can't close it from that side? Can you close it from this side? Close the fucking door! Ah! You can't close this door? It's an unclosable door? Well, whatever. Fuck that guy. Where is he going? Oh man. How do you jump? Is it left click? Where is he going? Okay. Where are you going? Oh. Oh, you're invincible during that? Hey, close this door. Close this door! Uh-oh. Oh! oh! <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Happy Routine and Lazy Inputs. And thanks, Thigh Physics. And thank you again, Jay Barron. Happy Big Friday. Oh, that was guaranteed! Oh, that was a shit.
what's cooking? What does that mean? You, does that mean hello? Oh, I think he means that's like hello. Oh, okay, time out. Uh, hey. Mm, you know, nothing. I'm hype about December, and I'm sick of November. <laughs> uh, and I'm ready for that shit. I'm ready for December. What about you? Oh! What the fuck, dude? I forgot this shit even existed in this fucking game. What was that? You gotta be kidding me. I forgot about this. These dudes? Valdos? Weird perverted bitch. Did he just jump off the fucking cliff with my treasure? Oh my god. Man, fuck. What was that? He just jumped off the cliff. What is that treasure? Does that guy drop something sweet? I forgot about that. Reloaf? Dude, reloafing is a big fucking problem in this. Uh, what did he drop? Reload the game. Do you know how long it takes to fucking reload this game? Guillotine hands. Two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um. Mm, oh, fuck it. Oops. <laughs> Better be you. something cool. A lightning spear? Oh man, you better hope it's something cooler than a fucking lightning spear. That is sleeping face. Lightning spear? It's not about the ram, you dumbass. This game doesn't know that... Someone banned that ram guy. This game doesn't know that the servers are off and I forgot to put it in offline mode on Steam. Uh, you know. Uh, hey Shine, thanks dude. Thanks, Resident Medeo. Happy holidays. <laughs> Thanks, Lord Quang. Thank you. And happy routine and gold soul. Just give it a second. And then don't mash. You gotta wait and say no or else it's gonna make you wait again. Okay, here we go. It's all about execution. Ram guy. No, I don't play the Scholar version because it sucks <laughs> ass. You. More than the regular version, which is surprising. I think the regular version of Dark Souls 2 is good enough to play every now and then. Uh, but Scholar, I don't ever need to play that trash again. Personally. Scholar is a total joke. What the fuck is oh, this? You. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, gangsta. How are you supposed to do this part? Oh! <laughs> Thank you. Do those guys like come down here? Whoa, they don't. They don't. <laughs> Thank you. You're supposed to jump onto the hot caca? What the fuck? I don't remember this. Are you supposed to jump right there? What the fuck? No? Where are you supposed to jump in? Uh, weird. I don't remember this. This doesn't seem very safe. Whoa, look at this idiot. <laughs> oh, cool. Oh. Well, why don't you just drop down and not deal with that dude? Unless he's guarding a tre- Oh! He is the ambush guy. Oh, fuck. That hurt. Oh, shit. That's the ambush guy. Alright, well, fuck that Thank guy. You. 
Oh fuck this guy too. Oh. Oh fuck. What are you supposed to do? Just fight him? Oh god. Yeah. guy behind me? No. Okay, no problem. I have one of these things. Uh, oh, yeah. I remember this part. There's a dude over there trying to sneak attack me. So what you do is you're going to come over here. Yo, what's up, amigo? And then you lure him over here, right? And then you get him to stop right there like an idiot. And he gets hit by his own fucking trap. God, he is dumb. That's how you do that. Wait a minute. <laughs> Don't stand under there. Okay, this part's hot. Man, this game sucks. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh! Okay, well, it's no problem. Forgot about the wall. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, even with all that adaptability, it still feels like shit. What a stupid stat. Adaptability and also uh, soul memory. Those two ideas are like, wow. What are you, stone? Uh, thanks, Destroyed Kitten and Edmarius. Thanks for the new sub, Wax. And Running 2, thanks, Joe. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, thanks, TK45. And Soul Theory. Thanks again, Shine. Does the Mimic item go away? Oh, I forgot it? Did I forget it? I reloaded and didn't even get it? And you guys didn't say nothing? That was like an hour ago. You did? Well, why didn't I see it then? Thank you. Go back. How can you go back? I jumped to get there. What was it? A lightning spear? Maybe I stopped giving a fuck because you guys told me it was a lightning spear. And then I didn't get it. It was Valdo hands? I don't even know what that means. But it's all good, whatever. It's too bad, man. I just stopped smoking. That's ancient history. You're living in the past. Thanks for the luck left smile. Sure thing. Uh excited to wake up. Thanks. Me too. This is gonna be really whack with this uh this boss is about to suck, isn't it? I don't have any weapons that do anything. <laughs> I never bothered committing to a weapon. Use some resin. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Well, this guy's made out of fire, so don't use fire resin. And I don't have any other resin, so I'm going to go ahead and not use any resin. What do you think? All right, I'm going in. There's like a gimmick to this boss, right? Like, um, I think there's a hole in the stage and you just need to not fall into that hole. do there's no tricks right you just kill him oh man that's pretty decent damage for an unupgraded weapon Thank you. 
double flame breath, huh? Oh! Thought that hit me too. And this game fucking sucks. Um. But not all of it, I guess. <coughs> uh, hey, thanks, Korean name. And Strong Beans and Kizzy. Uh, and Fire Lord. Thanks, bros. Yeah, it's not very cool. But, I mean, you know, some parts are pretty cool. That boss was a total laughing stock of a boss, though. Power Stance, Ray Pierre's. Uh, nah. Maybe, I don't know. I'm kind of not really digging this weapon, but then again, it's not like I know which one to use. Oh, this is a DLC, huh? Cool. Hey, happy Big Friday. The DLC bosses are cool, though. My favorite one is the Blue Smelter Demon. That is the coolest DLC boss ever. Oh, no, no, no. The, my, the coolest DLC boss is the one where there's like fucking three giant tigers in the middle of a bunch of snow. You're right. I forgot about that one. That one is so cool, dude. Uh, I'm trying to say, shut up, bitch. Uh, and hello. <laughs> Thank you. Mm, how's it going? Mm, thanks, Hopley. And... Thanks, CG. I don't like this name, though. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. Uh, <laughs> Thank and you. thanks, Drunk Beans and Kitten with Beer. I got 60,000 souls. What are you gonna do with all that shit? The soul and the curse are one and the same. Your soul, I only hope. I'm gonna level up. More adaptability? Is there any more? I thought this is it. How much more can you get? Uh, hey, JK, thanks for the 25 bucks. Mm, what's going on in here? In the chat. 99 adaptability. Mm, yeah, you don't need any more. That's what I'm saying. I don't even feel the difference from going from 32 to 39. Butt hash. Jack Miller, Fox 30 News. You make me blush. Hey, thanks, Terry and Gigolo and Spooky Doom. Yeah. Excuse me, and thanks, JK. More endurance. Uh, I guess. How much more? Hard cap is 116 for agility. Really? How many how much adaptability do you have to get to get to that? Agility doesn't go up at all when I go up to 44. That's ridiculous. Strength 25, that sounds good. And some dexterity too. 25 of both sounds good. There's a lot of Nyan's fans in here, huh? How's it going? Mmm, happy Thanksgiving. 72 adaptability. What? That doesn't make sense. From 39 to 72? That doesn't sound right. Thanks again. Uh, for the generosity, JK and everyone. Spooky Doom. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Homeless Home. Uh, Alright, strength sounds cool. Yeah, I'm trying to make this game not feel like shit. It's almost impossible unless you zoom in on this lady's tits, which I will do. takes precision walk off of a cliff damn <laughs> you get way deep in there not bad not bad 
Hey, uh, singing a different Thank tune you. about this game now, huh? Thank you. That's the end of that. Oh, the next place you have to go is you gotta jump in this hole, huh? I'm not gonna pay this moron. I'm just gonna jump in. I'll live, I'm pretty sure. Stay there for the thumbnail. What's up, just got here. I already had that idea earlier. Uh, I'm gonna take off my clothes. To survive this, all you gotta do is take off all your clothes. And... You'll survive. Right? Pretty sure. I'll live. Wow, I was right! That's so tight. I knew it. Told you. It just has to be all your clothes off. All of her clothes off. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. You're supposed to jump over there? That's gonna hurt. I need to heal. Uh, if you're supposed to jump over there, then... You got a running start. Ah! Damn, that did hurt. Am I doing this right? <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh, man. So you have two options. You could go all the way down, or you could go through there. If you go through there, you have to fight one of the worst bosses in history. A bunch of rats. Bonfire there. Yeah, but you could skip that, can't you? And go all the way down? Mm, I don't remember how to do it, though. I think you actually just drop down here. Man, that's far. I don't know if I have enough <laughs> Thank heals. You. I'm going to go all the way. Wow, that hurt. You gotta make that jump? Now, do you? Yeah, maybe you do. That seems like a kind of a hard jump to make. Man, and I'm gonna be out of uh, stuff. All right, no more juice. A what? what the fuck is this? Oh no. This is not where I want to be, huh? I fucked up, I think. I made this harder on myself. Did I? What is this? <laughs> it's locked. Alright. I don't remember anything about this. It's a DLC thing? Yeah, alright. Sure it is. Okay, I'm gonna make this jump easily right now. Ugh. That sucks. <gasps> oh, that's exactly what I wanted to do right there, Thank perfectly. You. Okay. Uh, hey, thanks, Kill Your Heroes and Drisky and Mont P and Full Steel. Thanks, Black Mega Man and Fatty Hater, Homeless Home. Thanks, bros. Okay, so now I need to use something to heal. I have this thing. Eat one of these things. And then just gently drop to the. Oh, fuck. What the hell? Okay, perfect. Not bad at all. Can you even keep going <laughs> further down? Thank you. Maybe I was supposed to even keep going further. Oh, shit. Well, I'm naked. Better put on my stuff. Where is my stuff? Man, December is gonna be cool. Where's my fucking sword? Is this it? Oh, this is it. December 2nd, right at the beginning, it's gonna start being cool. And then all these other cool things are gonna happen. Um, Jeff Keighley's birthday and other stuff. I don't remember any of it right now. Is your birthday? Oh, yeah, it's my grandma's birthday on the 5th. December 5th. What kind of shirt am I wearing? Why are you wearing that? Oh, my shoes are trash. Put on some cool shoes. Are these cool? 
Yeah. Oh! Don't go anywhere, bitch. Yeah! What? Oh, what the fuck? <sighs> I'm gonna go get him. Ah! Oh! <gasps> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Ah! Don't go in the water. Who? Flawless. Oh! Oh! I forgot about that last one. Adaptability. That adaptability paid off. Damn, I forgot about that last one. Holy shit. Alright, that was pretty cool. That would have killed me 100% with 50% life. That stupid horse got away? I mean, the gecko? Can't believe that happened. Am I going the right way? I don't remember. Anyway, yeah, you know, Thanksgiving leftovers. I think everyone's having a pretty good day. Unless you have to go to work, that shit is so whack if you have to go to work hey, your job sucks dude you should try to get a different job if they make you go to work the day after thanksgiving then you should never give up <laughs> you know you could do better than that it was only three hours well maybe you don't mind that's the key like if your job is tight enough where you don't mind. Like mine. Mine is an example. If you're in a situation like that, then maybe it's cool. But if you're pissed about it, then... You know. You should... Not... Let yourself be in a situation that sucks. You work at a casino? That's cool. What do you do there? Uh, I used to know a bunch of people that used to... Do... What do you call that? Dealing. They are dealers. I think that's really cool. Because it's a stressful. Oh! Uh, thanks, Dewey, and Red Lantern, thanks to Mana, f whatever, and, uh, real Dinotron. <laughs> Fuck this game. <laughs> I'd be lying if I said I didn't consider that. Uh, but there's a different solution. Get the cat ring. Uh, how much is it? Rip off ass ring. All it does is makes you take less damage when you drop, right? It's like 14,000 souls. Let me talk to you, cat. Uh, 13 4? Hmm. That's a fucking rip off, dude. Nothing suited you, I presume. Hmm. Thanks, Miffany. I don't know what the fuck that means. Thanks. Yeah, that cat's alright. Oh, I guess I gotta use some of... Uh, I just killed that flame boss. The flame balrog, dude. Yeah, I could eat his soul. It's probably worth a shitload, dude. I, look at this. It's about to be... 25 Gs. That's a lot. I could probably level up and buy that stupid ring. Alright. I'm getting the ring. Cool hat. It raises my item discovery, but I don't think it's very cool. I think it looks so stupid. But, I mean, that's kind of Dark Souls 2. Everything kind of looks stupid and feels stupid. Satisfied? Uh, not everything, but most things. <laughs> most things look kind of stupid in this. Especially the stuff that's top tier. Mm. 
Okay, well, take off all your clothes again. Okay. And put on the ring. It's not gonna do you much good if you don't put it on. Uh, put it on. Okay. Now I should take... Hopefully no damage, but a lot less. What the fuck, dude? How much did I spend for this? Am I wearing it? Man, what the fuck, dude? That shit took, like... That's not even that much reduced damage, man. Whose idea was this ring? <laughs> okay, well, where are you supposed to go then? That's not even that much damage. I mean, uh, reduction. Damage reduction. Can I live this through this drop right here? Nah, can you? Well, you don't need to. You just go here and make this jump. Ah! <sighs> I really need to set up my Super Nintendo emulator. I want to play Mario, but I don't want to play on my Switch. I guess I could. Hmm. Play on Switch, I mean. Is that going to kill me? Might as well not risk it. Probably would have. Okay, so what did I do? Roll? Did I roll or jump here? I think I rolled. Uh, did that work? Man, this is about to kill me, isn't it? Oh, wait. Let me heal. Did I roll? You rolled. Yeah! Damn, that's pretty consistent. I like that. Yeah, Super Mario World has some really cool songs. My favorite Mario song ever is in that game. And it also has some of the coolest sounds. Oh, fucking guy. Turtle. Uh, so my weapon's no good for killing these dudes, huh? Just like it's no good for <laughs> killing any dudes. Thank you. You know what? This shirt sucks. <laughs> uh, I mean this hat. <laughs> Thank you. Can you fast roll? Yeah. Alright. Alright, bitch. Jump attack. Ha! Second jump attack. Before he drops... Oh, come on, dude. At least he died this time. Now I gotta fucking deal with these guys. Don't forget the last one. Where is he? Oh. Is this the last one? Ah, that's the last one. Bitch. And I got the droppings. Titanite, large titanite. Dark Knight Stone? What the hell's that? That was a Dark Knight Stone. This game looks so weird. Uh, yeah, it's it's got a... If you play it in a nice frame rate and a good, uh, you know, amount of P then it kind of looks a little bit like Gumby. <laughs> like claymation and shit. Thank you. So that's kind of cool, I guess. But, yeah, it does look weird. It feels even weirder. What amount of P would be adequate? I don't know, like, uh... I'm... Like 10k or whatever this is? I don't know. 4k? Whatever the fuck this is, man. Minimum. Wow, I almost died there. And uh, you also need 128 RAM. You're gonna need that. King versus Marduk. Who do you got? Someone perma ban this dude. I hate you. Uh, thanks, Mighty Sandwich, and Kingdom Hearts soundtrack, and thanks, Shields, and Bing. Hey, thanks, Bing. Thanks. Did that guy really get permanently banned? That's pretty rough. You should have thought twice before saying stupid shit. 
Gosh, dude, it's like obnoxious area one after another. How am I supposed to find a bomb? Oh, there's a bonfire right down here somewhere. Oh, God, I'm poisoned. Man, am I poisoned? Maybe not. This can't be right. Down there? That can't be right. That's so far. Have you had Korean Bing Su? Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. Where the fuck are you supposed to drop down? Down there? Ah, oh, fuck it. I'm gonna go. Oh, it was not as far as it looked. Did I miss the bonfire? No, it's right there. Perfect. I needed that. Uh, no, I don't know what that is. But maybe I've had it. I've been to Korean barbecue a lot of times, but, you know, I don't know what everything's called. Did you watch the USA versus England match? No, I don't watch soccer, but a lot of people in my chat have been talking about it lately. What do you have to say about it? It was a 6-0-0. Zero, zero. Are you trying to tell me that soccer is boring? Is that what's going on? Hmm. USA won? How does that happen? Just because they're way cooler? Next is USA versus Iran. <laughs> That might be fun to watch. I might check that out. Uh, might be a good one. Hey, thanks, Mighty Sandwich. <laughs> Man, they got some good food, though. Oh! Uh -huh. They definitely do. S tier. Yep. Man, who are you pointing that at? USA is just as bad as England in soccer? That's surprising because don't English people love soccer? And like, that would be like USA being better at Canada in hockey or like, like, I don't know, other things that other places are supposed to be top at. England, but, I mean, I wouldn't know who's good, obviously, but I would imagine that England would be good because you always hear them talking about... In fact, I think I've seen a movie... Isn't there a movie about, like, soccer hooligans in England and shit? I'm pretty sure they're, they're like... It's like a thing. They like soccer. <laughs> so Thank you. surprising because we don't even give a fuck about that shit like you never even ball. hear about soccer ever on any type of advertising you never hear I don't even know what the only soccer you ever hear from is how there's predatory shit in FIFA the game that's the only thing you ever hear about soccer ever I hear about every other sport though I guess not hockey. I couldn't even tell you one thing about hockey other than like LA Kings, I guess, if they still exist. Do they still have that team? LA Kings? Oh, they do? Cool. Mighty Ducks. Do they still have that team? Is that a real team or just the movie with Emilio Estevez? Are you supposed to jump there? Maybe you are. That's a real team? Cool. Is it a bunch of kids? Uh, thanks Naked Yoga and Blue Zero Nine. And thanks Mom Found the Jar and Mighty Sandwich. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, thanks, VNAC underscore. Not the jar. The jar. Don't ask me. You'd have to ask that dude. Oh, come on. <laughs> Where are you supposed to go? Over there? I don't know. Oh, I'm dying. I should have got anti-poison poison proofing. Maybe I should wear some poison proof gear. Am I safe here? Oh, look at this fucking bitch. And his friend. What? Did not authorize that. Oh! What the hell? Did you see that? Someone just ran. Is he climbing the ladder? Whoa! That was kind of cool. That was pretty cool. He ran past the treasure. Neat. Okay, put on some poisonous gear. Okay, now I'm highly poison proof. And I go here, going up, probably. <clears throat> you made me want to play this average game again? Uh, I mean, dude, uh, what's wrong with that? Especially if you are in such a lack of things to play that you're willing to play something like this. It sounds like you are desperate, and if that's true, uh, I helped you, so that's cool. Get influenced. Now you have something to play. And through playing this, I'm sure now you appreciate maybe- What the fuck? You call that poison resistance? <laughs> uh, what did you say? Get influenced, bitch. And, uh, you know, happy Big Friday. Damn, someone got shot. What did that guy do? Said something stupid. <laughs> Thank you. What the fuck is this? Bitch. Okay. What? Did that cancel my juice? Or did it... Okay, it didn't get consumed, I don't think. Bitch. Where the hell am I? Ho, ho, ho! Oh. Poisoned again. He said, don't shoot me? Well, that's kind of weird. I don't think he would have been shot if he didn't say that. Are you excited for Callisto Protocol? A nice question. Ugh. What do you think? Mm. This game... I mean, it's not awful. But it sure is not a good Souls game. You know, recently, though, I've been playing... I, I kind of have done Dark Souls 1 and now Dark Souls 2. And after playing these two games, at least the first half of both... A little more. A little more than the first half of the first one, at least. Um, after playing them, I can tell you that, at least in my opinion, Demon Souls is way better than both of these. No offense. In my opinion, at least. Way better. Than even Dark Souls 1. Personally speaking. Ouch. Uh, you know, I recently did play the first half of Bloodborne. At least when I was thinking about it, I did. I do remember it pretty well. And I remember the problem with that game, and really it's that stupid saw cleaver. That game's issue, no matter what your favorite weapon is, you have to use the saw cleaver to get it, and when you finally get the weapon you want, it is going to be substantially worse than the saw cleaver at the point when you get it. That is frustrating. No matter what weapon you want, it's always going to be much, much worse than the weapon you use to get it. And I think that's a big problem with that game.
Uh, farming for vials does suck, and so do the chalice dungeons, but all both of those things are forgi forgivable quirks that I feel are not that big of a deal. But the big deal is multiple playthroughs end up being too similar, and that is annoying in my mind. It's a problem with this game too. Dark Souls 1 is much better at that. Uh, personally speaking, I think Dark Souls 1, you have so many different really good starting weapons in Dark Souls 1. Like, really good. And starting classes. Uh, it's pretty crazy. Demon Souls, interestingly enough, is not like that. Like, there is only one really, really good way to start Demon Souls. But, it doesn't matter because the beginning of that shit is so sick. The castle with all those knights everywhere and all that combat and stage design. It's so good. Uh, anyway, I don't know where to go. Do I jump across the street or something? I don't really see where to go. Is it break time already? I'm trying to make it so that December gets here quickly. But that's hard to do. Can't control time. You think I'm supposed to jump across this thing? Or maybe I'm supposed to go back up. Can I go back up? Mm. Damn, someone got shot. Thanks, Geiko and G Sparkle and Drader. Vanak and Naked Yoga. Thanks again. I'm, I guess I have to make that jump because I don't really have any options. So it's going to be ugly. Oh. Thoughts on Korean levers? Um, I never really liked them. Anyway, thanks. Yeah! What the fuck is this? Stun animation. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. Thanks. TSA Nobi. Yeah, I never really liked them, but other people do. In my opinion, most people that are not Korean, that like Korean levers, are usually just posers. Uh, most of the time. Uh, I can understand Koreans using them because they're like, um... What do you call it? Like a legacy controller? So it's something... A lot of the time, people just go with what they started with. And most people who started with arcade machines stick to arcade sticks. And Korean people who started with arcade machines would stick to a Korean stick. So that makes sense for them. But uh, your build sucks. What do you like surf around on the front page of Dark Souls 2 streams and say like can shit? Whoa, he got banned. Is he new? Hey, if you're new, you're not welcome. But, man, that's crazy. Get banned, bitch. Uh, is he new? Oh, he is. Oh, he's not that new. What day is today? You've been following for two years, and that's the fourth thing he said? Hey, you're pretty cool. Um, get banned. Damn. Perma banned? That really was not worth a perma ban. But, get banned. That's the way it works, man. You gotta be more careful than that. Uh, can you can you speak Armenian? The fuck kind of a question is this? That guy should be perma banned. Can you? Hey, perma ban that guy, uh, and unban the last guy. Uh, nah, ban them both. Uh, anyway, thanks. TSA no be Korean sticks. Um. Nah. I prefer Armenian sticks. I wonder if they have arcades in Armenia. <laughs> Thank you. Probably. Mario Bros. I don't know. Oh, break time? Mm, talking in Eris' chat is a dangerous game. That was a dangerous mistake, dude. What are you fucking trying to say with that comment? Other than somebody shoot me, please. Uh, we're just messing around. Even though when, you know, like when you mess around, some people get permanently banned. That's kind of like a result of messing around. But whatever. I mean, there's still people around. Not everyone got banned. Some of you are alive. 
Hey, I should sit at this bonfire if I'm gonna take a break. Hmm. Yep. They found out. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, big pun. All right. I'm gonna get up and do a quick stretch. <laughs> yeah, don't draw attention. That is definitely good advice. I don't know why they try to be so, like, you know, stand out with this long paragraph or capital letters or some fucking ASCII dick art. Yeah. Trying too hard to stand out. Excuse me. You need to uh, blend in, dude. That's the trick. Just blend in. Nothing original to say ever. Your build rocks. Oh, yeah, that guy got banned for that. Wow, that was brutal. I wonder if he survived. Anyway, I don't really know who got banned and who didn't get banned. But if you ask me, uh, I don't really give a fuck. Mm, anyway, I'm going to get up and stretch. Click on that. Two of these. Poof. Good break. I forgot who it was, but some dude earlier said that he, like, got a knife in Counter-Strike and sold it for a thousand bucks and then bought a Steam Deck with some of the money. That's pretty sweet. He said, and then I was like, yeah, all right, and I was a little suspicious and I questioned him about how much did it cost to get the knife, huh? Pretty key Mother. ingredient, right? Mierda. But he said two dollars and fifty cents, smile. and that made the story way cooler. Two dollars and fifty cents. Uh, I know a lot of people when Diablo came out, they <laughs> played you. the game, and in the game they got a drop that they sold in the real money auction house for like four hundred bucks. What the fuck? That was like ten years ago too, when they had a real money auction house. Mm. Thanks, you suck a cocky. Thanks, you. And thanks, DS Demo. And thanks, Daryl. Thanks, Duck Peace. And Big Pun. <laughs> they gave you. me Bone In instead of Boneless at Wingstop. <laughs> Thank you. Why would you order Boneless? Anyway, they're trying to tell you stop being a little bitch. Uh, grow up, <laughs> kid. You. That's what they're trying to tell you. Uh, but it's cool. Anyway, guy's story sucked. Mm, thanks, Will, whatever, and not spunky. Thanks, negative ASMR. Thank you again, suck a cocky. Yeah, I'm not really all about boneless wings, personally. Uh, maybe if they're like from a like a like a mom and pop place, like guaranteed to be real chicken, because boneless wings are always gonna be frozen. Not that regular wings aren't technically, but regular wings are probably also frozen most of the time, especially from a commercial place. I'll find a place. I recently retired from Wingstop too. I've like been slowly cutting off places that I used to eat because the quality, I can't tell if their quality is going down or if my quality standards are going up or what or a combination, but there are a few places that I'm starting to get real sick of. Hey, I have no idea where the fuck to go, unfortunately. Hey, where do these dudes come from? Probably have to go where they came from. Here? Mama. Hey, what are you looking at? Am I going down? Probably going down. Uh, you are not the father. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. Are not the father. Is this gonna work? <laughs> what kind of a ladder was that? Yeah. Uh, thanks, Jan Zen and Woozle. And thanks, Will, whatever. Alright, that ladder was a fake ladder. Oh. Got sprayed. I 
wonder what that um, mimic that I killed dropped in the end. It could have been a lightning spear for all I know. Oh, what? Weird. Blood stain. Oh, wait! Is this the ladder that killed me last time? What the fuck? Is this it? I was about to go down this ladder again. <laughs> Uh, well, what the fuck then? Is it? What am I supposed to jump over there? Ah! <sighs> oh, oh! Come on, over the bong? Over the bong? That would have been good! That should have been good. All right, that's not going to happen again. I'm three to one. One, two, three. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, down one flight of steps. Collect the souls and flawlessly make this jump. Oh, you. <laughs> Thank you. It's my birthday today. Here's your cut, Chief. Hey, nice job. Uh, congrats on the personal best, Jansen. Happy birthday. Hey, everybody, sing. Well, that did not work out the way I wanted it to, and I'm again lost. Sweet. Maybe I'm supposed to go through that fog door? Hey, nice job on that birthday. Oh, uh, what the fuck, dude? What was that? Sneak attack? He's a human effigy, will ya? Oh! Alright, forget it. These guys are trouble. Where the hell are you supposed to go then? Oh. Oh, you fucking hole in the ground! Alright, alright, I'll try it in a second. Let me get that stuff back real quick. Stupid hole in the ground. This game is tight. I forgot what we were talking about before I fell in that hole. Peas? I didn't like peas when I was younger, but I don't mind them now. They're alright. I think for the most part, as I get older, I only like more things. I don't dislike things that I used to like. Uh, I've noticed that. How the fuck do you want me to get there? I guess one thing that I used to like that I don't like anymore is cauliflower. But it was only because of like a bad experience, which... I think that that's an exception. Like, a lot of people will get sick after eating something, like, and then not want to eat that thing anymore, even though they like it. But I think that doesn't count. That's not due to aging or growth. That's more <laughs> due to exterior circumstance. Can I jump there? Oh, you fucker, dude! Man, that would have been pretty... Yeah, whatever. Uh, thanks, Baba, and thanks, Substantial Phallus Energy, and happy birthday, Jant Zen. I forget what we were talking about. Oh, yeah, the guy who got that Nintendo, not Nintendo Switch, uh, Steam Deck for his Co uh, Call of Duty weapon, that guy reminded me that I have one of those. And I think that when the PoE League starts, since I'm going to start Ruthless, uh, I think I'm gonna play it on the Steam Deck, so I hope it works. I better go start it and charge it. Uh, my sister won't eat sour cream because when she was four, my dad gave her a spoonful of it, telling her it was whipped cream. Mm. 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Danny OG. Maybe you're supposed to go down one of these other ladders. Oh, but what about my souls? Oh, well, that's cool. That worked out. Maybe I should not make that jump and instead go down like another ladder. Damn, you guys are all hating on that guy? Hey, man, I thought that was a really interesting story. Um, it's pretty cool. And I'm interested in knowing more about other things about your mom and your sister. <laughs> Thank you. I think everyone is. What else do you got to tell us? Did he get banned? Hey, that's just the way it works sometimes, but still. Cool sister. And I died like fucking five times. That's cool. totally got memory wiped by that guy's crazy story. That was a roller coaster ride. It was all over the place, man. You know? With the whole sister and the sour cream. All that shit. That got pretty crazy towards the end there. Happy Black Friday, amigos. Hey, thanks, Poro Hub Prestige. And your boy, Poro A. Thanks, bros. The only cool things I've heard of people getting so far is someone got a guitar, and Thank you. I can't quite remember what that dude got yesterday, but people have been getting some pretty decent cool stuff. You guys getting any cool stuff? Thank you. Thanks, Jamie Kohai and Kingpin. I want to get an air fryer. I would tell you, there's no way you're going to not like it. That's for sure, but... I'll tell you this, you want to get a big one. If you want to cook for more than just yourself, and even that, I mean, that shit is too small. And I didn't even get the smallest one they had. I got what I thought was a mama bear one. You're gonna like the air fryer, that's for sure. But the problem is, you might regret getting a small one. So I would recommend get a really, really big one. They're too small. Like, let's say, for example, you're trying to cook some kind of protein, like steak and vegetables, right? It's not going to be enough space. And if you're cooking for two Thank people, you. forget it. It's very limited. Because the vegetables, they really shrink a lot. So even if you fill that fucker, and the thing is, if you want the vegetables Thank to be you. crisp, you can't fill it too much. They get too wet. So you gotta like, give them some space to breathe. If you do that, I mean, it's just not enough food. Wings take forever if you can't put a lot in there. That's what I'm saying. If the air fryer is small, you're really limited. <clears throat> it comes with this thing that like elevates the top. There, it, can, it can become like a double decker. So you can put like the meat on top and then the vegetables underneath. And then as it cooks, the juices from the meat drip onto the vegetables and make it delicious. But still, it's just not enough space. Like for enough food. For two people? No. Too small. You gotta get a bigger one. And the fucked up thing is, just like everything else, the price difference between the one I got and the bigger one is not that much. So this is just one of those like, if I could go back type of learning experience things. Uh, so yeah, in, the, in your case, you should get a big one. If, if you, I don't know, maybe you don't think I know what I'm talking about. In which case, don't listen to me, but that's what I would tell you. Because, I mean, you're going to like it. I've never even heard of someone saying an air fryer sucks. Uh, and I myself was not really a believer, and I think they're pretty impressive. The best chicken I ever had in my life was chicken that I made in the air fryer. So... You know. 
Air fryers suck to clean. I have a dishwasher. I just put them in the dishwasher. And it works. Upside down. Upside down in the dishwasher. We'll cut it. How'd you cook that chicken? I have some seasoning that I got. And I put it in a... A uh, Ziploc bag overnight submerged in a little bit of olive oil and that stuff, that seasoning. And then I put it in the air fryer. Simple as that. No breading. The seasoning itself was really heavy handed. Oh my god, I forgot about this shit. <laughs> What the fuck? Oh my god, I forgot about all this. Wowee. Uh, no big deal. Don't forget, guys. This game sucks. It's okay, we're safe. Uh, thanks, Valiant Stride. And Dab. And Gambit. Thanks, Jamie. And, uh, everyone. Dab Cough. Did I thank you? Whatever. Uh, did you use your wings? Or breast thigh? Do you did you use wings or oh uh, when I made that chicken, uh, it was chicken breast I think, unless it was chicken thigh. I think I've done it twice, <laughs> this same Thank thing. You. I think I've done it this, the same thing two times, and maybe one time it was thighs and the other time it was breasts. Mm, it was delicious. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, the breast was very juicy and flavorful. Inside, it was... I, I don't remember, but I remember the actual meat being really flavorful, which I find to be one of the biggest problems with chicken. It's very difficult to not make it all about the skin. And this worked. It really got deep in that ass. Mm, which made it delicious. The skin is delicious, I agree with you, but don't you want the whole thing to be delicious, not just the skin? I mean, you want the chicken to taste more... taste like more than just chicken. Because that's how I feel chicken is a lot of the time. Like, it just tastes like chicken, salt, whatever. But, uh, that doesn't have to be the case if you really, like, get some kind of good marinade or... You know, it's just got to get deep in there, and it's got to be the type of marinade that penetrates. Chicken is made out of stuff, you know, like molecules and shit, and not all different types of meat have the same level of, like, ability to accept, oh, fuck, you know, like, flavor. Different meat has different, like, toughnesses and different shit going on, so you got to find the right kind of seasoning that will be really accepted deep in there by chicken. And not just seasoning, method and timing too. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, that's an explosion? Fuck, that's an explosion. What a weird ass game. Like if you break this boss down too, it makes you wonder what they were thinking when they made this shit. Like, maybe they won't mind that this game sucks. Yeah, the bosses are pretty weird. There are a couple bosses that I like though. I like that um, frog. And I think I like the Mirror Knight, if I remember correctly. I didn't fight him. I don't even know where he is. Where the fuck do I go? You go over this hot stuff? What is that thing? I don't want to die. Uh, there's like a hole somewhere or something? Hey, I'm chilling. Day after Thanksgiving, still feeling grateful. Uh, everything works. 
Um, excited about December, but pretty fucking sick of November. Personally, kind of tired of November. I'm ready for December. A lot of exciting things are going on in December, and, um, you know, just trying to get there. What about you? Do you think you'll play Dark Souls 3 after this? I don't know. I've considered it, but I never really know for sure. It's kind of like, uh, you know, unless there's something obviously tight that I want to check out, uh, it's kind of about how I'm feeling that day. You know, what I feel like playing. I recently played Bloodborne. It was alright, but I mentioned earlier I'm sick of that Proceed. game's uh, issues. The cheap-ass weapon that you have to use no matter what. Uh, what was I supposed to get? I guess I could get some endurance. That's cool. Full adaptability. I'm... You know... I think if I were to play any of them, it would it would probably be Demon Souls, just because playing Dark Souls one and Dark Souls two recently has made me think about how, as far as I'm concerned, neither of them are better than Demon Souls, and I've always thought that, as far as I could remember. Her inventory gets upgraded later, but I don't remember what you have to do. No interest. Well, my favorite was the original one until they made the remake, and now I haven't played the original one since the remake. I can't really see a reason to. It's not like, I don't know, at least right now, maybe this will change as time goes by, but right now, to me, the PS3 version of Demon Souls does not have any, like, <laughs> qualities <laughs> that you. I feel like I need to see again. Like... Yeah, it looks a little cooler, the colors are cooler, the music is a little bit cooler, but 30 FPS and on the PS3, those two things combined are a deal breaker for me. 30 FPS and on the PS3, nah dude, uh, sorry, I'll play the PS5 version. The graphics are amazing and, if, you know, maybe if, like I would do a playthrough of it with old graphics if the new game had like a toggle like the way Diablo 2 does. You can push a button and go back to the old Diablo 2. If you could do that in Demon's Souls, I would play that way. But I'm not trying to play like, you know, pull out my PS3 to play some 30 FPS shit when there's a way better looking version. You know? Mm. What was I supposed to do here? Oh, wait a minute. There's only one boss left, right? What's the boss? Who's the last guy you're supposed to kill? Or did I kill them all? Killed the fire guy. I killed the sinner lady. Oh, yeah, the guy in the desert. Scorpion nose. How do you get to him? Do I need a petrified lockstone or some shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you gotta save that lady. Where is she? Over here? Over here? I remember her. They should have added a sixth arch stone back in the... Re Dude, the remake definitely could have used a little bit more... Uh, take their liberties or whatever. A little bit. Like, they added those DLC items, which in the end I think are pretty cool. They make the beginning of the game... Pretty fun. You have a, a lot more options available to you now in the remake because of the stuff you get at the start. Blue Point's not smart enough. I mean, it's a pretty good fucking re remake, though. I must say, I'm, I'm. They can eat, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if this game has a... Yeah, I guess this game does have a remastered edition. It's called Scholar of the First Sin. They made a bunch of unnecessary changes in-game that are extremely annoying just to justify selling you the same shitty game again, but unfortunately, uh, it's so much worse. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'll use it. Uh, thanks, Sage. Sage. And Strong Garbage. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Turian Bigot. Pillaging Pig, thanks for the tier 2. 
Hey, Dango Jin. Thanks, dude. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, whether you... Or whatever, man. Everyone could get behind being grateful. I guess not everyone. Um, but most people could get behind Thanksgiving. Uh, funny. I dated a Native American girl one time. One and a half times. Maybe two times. Um, <laughs> Thank you. There were some Thanksgiving-related discussions that I thought were pretty funny. Uh, it reminded me of that episode of Seinfeld where Kramer gets that like uh, that like cigar statue, and and Seinfeld is dating a Native American girl, and she thinks he's a racist, but he's trying to like convince her that it's not true. That was a good one. Yeah, the cigar store Indian. That's a good episode, dude. Anyway. Well, anyway, uh, happy Thanksgiving, dude. It's like the, uh, think about it like, uh, the thought that counts. Oh, what the fuck is this, dude? Oh, great. And you're gonna miss? Oh, come on, man. Poison too? This is fucking sweet. Can I just go over here? Kill this dude? And then, like, oh! oh fucking guy. I didn't notice how fast that poison was ticking. Oh, well, what happens now? That door is closed from the other side. Iconic ambush. All you have to do is do it again? I thought it's locked. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, suck a punch. And he died for you. Thanks for the brand new sub. And thanks, Kawutsi. Kawutsi. And Dango Jin, <laughs> thanks again. Valiant Thank Stride. You. Dab cough, Shiva Jones, Cuttlefish, Hippo Hippocampus. Cool shitty name. Thanks for the new sub though. Thanks, Egg Cheese. Man, I got so many new subs in the last two days. I wonder what's going on. Uh I wonder what's going on. What's up with that? Maybe like um something's up with Twitch Prime or something. I don't know. Whatever. Thanks. I hit it big on TikTok. Well, that's cool. <laughs> Thank you. Do put a lot of effort into TikTok. So. I'm stoned. Did she ask me for clothes? Just... Yeah, I'll give you an item. Here's the strat with her. What you do is... What do you do? She's wearing clothes now. Okay. And what we gotta do, our goal is to get these clothes off. So we could get at what's underneath. And the way you do that is you give her just a hat. Give her some hat that I don't want. Like this one. And then... Confirm? Uh, no? How much do you want, lady? Once equipment is given? Yes. So now I gave her a hat. So and now when I go back to Majula to meet her, she will only be wearing that hat. And the rest of her weird ass garbage bag outfit is gonna disappear. Oh shit. Ambush again? Yeah, I know some advanced techniques in this game. Are there more dudes this time? Seems like more guys. Oh, there are because I didn't kill the first two. God, he is dumb. Ow, 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 ow. Where's the bonfire? Is it over there? Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> oh, you door-breaking bitch! I didn't know those doors would break. Fucking bitch. Where the fuck is this bonfire at? Dope. Wood arrow. 
Sweet. Oh, maybe it's here. Huh? Is there a bonfire in here? God, it takes forever to open treasures in this game. There are a lot of things in this game that suck. <laughs> they sure do add up. Found it. Oh, don't sit on that. Everyone's gonna come back. Yeah, Steam Deck. I hope it's cool. Any good laughs with the family? Yeah, like pretty much the whole time. I spent the entire day yesterday laughing at hilarious shit that my grandma and my grandma's sister had to say. And eating a bunch of good food. Uh, though, since I had leftovers today and I'm thinking about it, the best thing ended up being the dessert. But I'm probably only thinking that because it's the only thing that I didn't bring leftovers of. Because it was all gone. But for dessert, my mom made pumpkin cheesecake ice cream cake. And it was really good. Yeah, it was super fucking good. Like, perfect ratio of cheesy, ice creamy pumpkininess. Like, you know, and the sugar level and everything was pretty impressive. Yeah, she's pretty good. Uh, and I picked, I got to drive my car, which was really fun. I always love doing that. I need to get an oil change. I want to get a new car, but there are no new cars that I want to get, so I'm just going to wait. But yeah, I do want to get a new car. Uh, you don't need the cat ring. Oh yeah, thanks. It's not like uh, there's too many rings that are sick though, right? I guess this one? Uh, drop items. Item discovery, that's pretty cool. Thanks, Kevzor. Thank you. Thanks, Eve Original and Blibly. Thanks for the Twitch Primes. Thanks, Sucker Punch and Egg Cheese Potato. They also made potatoes a gratin, and that was really good. That's why, up until yesterday and today, I thought that was the best part, but then today I had some more of that, which was good, but... It made me think, was this really the best part, or was that pumpkin shit top? And I think I know the answer now. It's become clear. What the fuck, dude? You gotta do this invisible shit? Hey, which side do you go? This side? I don't... Oh, you gotta unlock the dude? <laughs> Thank you. Oh shit, thanks, Chaiwanese Amigu. Damn, you just noticed? Uh, hey, thanks again, Chaiwanese Amigu. He gifted like 50 subs or some shit earlier. Thanks. Happy Big Friday. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. <laughs> I think I do. Is this right? No. Fuck. Uh, I don't think this is right. Maybe it is. This is right? Oh. Alright, cool. Where's the bonfire? What's the build? Adaptability? What what other build could you be doing in this game? 
It's the only build. Adaptability and wearing armor that's butt ugly. Pretty much. What about you? Whoa. What kind of build you doing? Whoa. Oh shit. Oh man, I do a ton of damage to these dudes. But they do a ton of damage to me too though, I think. Oh shit. Big fella. Wow. No damage to him, but hella damage to. Oh, what the fuck? I didn't know you did all that shit, bitch. Oh, still not done doing stuff? Don't do anything right now. Oh man, that looked like he was gonna. Am I getting. Oh, I'm cursed. What does being cursed do? Huh? You don't die from curse? Wow, getting cursed doesn't even matter, huh? I don't even give a fuck about being cursed. How do you become uncursed? In this stoner ass game. Lowers max. You use an effigy? Really? Weird. So it's like dying once without the nuisance of actually dying? It's kind of stupid. Don't you think? What happened? I didn't even see what that guy said. All I see is shit like, nice story, dumb fuck. <laughs> hey, what did that dumb fuck say? Damn, one million second ban? What the fuck? Hey man, what's going on here? That guy seems whack. Hey, what'd you do that made everyone dislike you so much, man? Wow, she's got titties too. No one ever talks about her titties because she doesn't have an intro. That's where they fucked up, man. They should have given this girl an intro where she like, you know, you zoom in on those titties. Everyone can open their mouth. That's where they blew it with this boss. No one even remembers her name. Scorpioness whatever. Ow, it didn't even hurt. Wow, the music sucks, too. Whoa! That's cheap as fuck! Man, this game is so full of weak-ass bosses. It's crazy. There's an item in the tree if she breaks it. Yeah, I know. Unfortunately, it's worthless. It'd be cool if that item were something that you cannot obtain anywhere else. But I'm pretty sure it's something like it's a piece of shit. Something worthless. Whatever it is. This whole game is weak. That's true. I think this might be one of my favorite areas. And I think one of my favorite enemies in the whole game is here. It's the guy that has an anvil with a chain attack, attached, attacked. Um, I always wanted them to make a weapon like that in this game. But they never ended up doing that. Oh shit, big fella. Little fella. What the fuck? No way! What the? Oh, this is a guy? Whoa, cool. Didn't expect that. What did I just pick up? I just picked something up. Skeleton pants. Oh yeah. Uh, those are that's the armor from the guys in part one. Ah, weird choices. This game has weird stuff in it. Not this guy. 
There's another version of these guys that has like a uh, anvil on a chain. Oh, is this him? This is him. Hey, wake up. I think this guy's cool. Yeah, excuse me. Yeah, this guy. Man, this game looks so weird. Looks like he's from Gumby. Claymation. Can you parry this dude? Probably not. Because you can't parry whips in this game, I don't think. My guess is you can't. <laughs> Thank you. Damn, large shark. Uh, thanks, Luke Flywalker and Bazooka. Is that a sneeze? Thanks, Evo Original. You don't bother with parrying in this game? I think the best strat for Dark Souls 2 is just not bothering with the game. I think that's probably a better strat. But yours is good too. <laughs> Thank you. Is this the right way? Yeah, that strat is pretty unbeatable. <laughs> Thank you. Where's the wall? Oh. Give me that. Oh. This is another one of those dudes, anvil dudes. What are you guys trying to eat Thanksgiving food for the next, like, two weeks? I purposely didn't take too much home so that I wouldn't be eating the same shit for the next, like, month. But now I don't have any food left because I almost... I don't have enough for a full meal. It's like a little bit of potato. This game's so weird. I just have a couple of potatoes left. All right, whatever. Um... So, I gotta probably think of something to eat later. I might get groceries. You guys got any cool ideas for grocery-related snacks? I think sun chips and shummus sounds pretty good. So hard to remember everything about this game. Mozzarella sticks. Those are pretty good, I guess. Uh, but I mean, like, dried mango, those are pretty good. I always wish that they were hotter. I feel like dried mango is always way sweeter than spicy or savory. It's like they don't... I always put my own shit on there. What's that stuff called? Tahine? I always put my own tahine on there. What the fuck? How do you get this again? Or is it something in here? What is this? Titanite shard. Yeah, tahine. 
celery and Nutella. What the? I don't even like Nutella. That is like, what the hell? I've heard of celery and um, peanut butter before, and even that is nasty, personally. Is that to see light, however faint? Nah. <laughs> Thank you. I don't like celery. I think celery is gross, personally. I really dislike the stringy texture, the crunch level, and the flavor. I'm I'm not a fan. Even things like peas and Brussels sprouts and all these other greens, you know, spinach even, they're all okay, but celery is nasty. Jalapeno kettle chips? Yeah, they're good. I like flaming hot kettle lays. Have you had those? Flaming hot kettle lays? Yeah, celery is nasty. It ruins stuffing for me. Flaming hot Cheeto fries? They're not bad, but they're not my favorite. They're probably low on my tier list, though still good. They're like down there with like flaming hot Fritos, which are still good, but low on my flaming hot list. I like flaming hot Doritos the most. Hot Funyuns are good too. You know what's a really good one? Flaming hot Cheeto Puffs. Those are pretty unique. Uh, I like those. <laughs> Thank you. Chili cheese Fritos are so old school. People used to love those when I was like in elementary school. They're a really old school flavor. Too salty. I'm not really into corn chips. Not that kind of corn chips. Fritos. Tapatio Doritos. Yeah, those are cool. They are. Right. I'm not really a fan of Takis, though. Mm, thanks, Sith Lord Batman. And Inner Heaven and Rotten Pizza. And thanks, Gouda Orador. Thanks for the brand new Twitch Prime. I grew to like Takis? Well, that's not exactly the type of thing that I'm trying to grow to like. <laughs> Thank you. Personally. Yeah, I don't like Takis. They have a very metallic flavor to me. Maybe it's an illusion because of like the silver colored bag or some shit. But I don't really like them. Also, the flavors are named shit like nitro and shit like that. It's like, dude, just tell me what this is trying to taste like or something, you know? I don't know. I, at least, like, Flamin' Hot gives you an idea of what you're getting into because you know what one is like. So it's like, okay, Flamin' Hot Cheetos. I wish they would make a Flamin' Hot Funyun. And then they do, and there you go. But Takis are all named different things, and their bag is purple or whatever. Rolling for Samir. <coughs> thanks, uh, Rolling for Whistles. And thanks, Charlie Rama. Thanks, bros. Yeah, he's trying to cover multiple bases. Get some fresh mozzarella and tomatoes for a sandwich. That's not a bad idea. I like that. Um, fresh mozzarella melts very nicely. If you, like, toast your sandwich... Takis are named after American Gladiators. Man, remember that? Like, they made an American Gladiators show again. Not just the original one. They made another one. And, like, too many people got injured. And they were like, man, fuck this. That show was tight when I was a kid. It seemed really frustrating and unfair. These guys were really big. Yeah. Excuse me. And, like, you know, they had, like, a dude's competition and a female's competition. And, like, the girl gladiators were fucking cheaters. Like, the chicks that they would have to try and compete were just, like, regular, like, lovely ladies. But the gladiators were, like, you know, Abbey-level, big clitoris-having, you know, that kind of shit. So it was, like, such an unfair matchup. They're just getting clobbered by these... Amazons and shit. Brutal. Uh, they never won. 
And they'd always clown them, too. Um, where's the destination again? Here? Yeah, probably. MTV Rock and Jock? I don't know what that is. I didn't really watch that much MTV towards the end of, like... You know, I watched MTV, like, during Beavis and Butthead, but after that, there was, like, all this, like, like, uh, Carson Daly or whatever. And, like, all these weird reality shows. That Ozzy Osbourne thing. Ouch. Nobody did? <laughs> well, alright. Holly Shore. I watched uh, Encino Man again like a year and a half ago. Oops. And I thought it was pretty cool. I didn't even know that Sam from Lord of the Rings is the star of the movie Encino Man. Like, what a forgettable performance. I, I watched it and immediately recognized him and I couldn't believe that I didn't remember that. He's a good actor? Well, that may be true, but his performance in Encino Man is... So forgettable. I mean, that character could have been anyone <coughs> in that movie. He was pretty cool in Lord of the Rings, though. I'll give you that. He was good at that movie. But, I mean, I can't think of another movie he's been in. Same with Elijah Wood, though. I mean, that guy's, like, it's not like he's in a bunch of cool movies. But it doesn't mean he sucks. He was good in that movie. Goonies? Is that him? I've never actually seen Goonies myself. But I know who you're talking about. I've never seen a bunch of those, like, really old movies that people used to... Old people used to love when they were a kid. Like, Goonies and, like, that movie with, uh... Uh, David Bowie. And, uh, like, other movies like that. No, I haven't seen all of them. I used to be able to add... Indiana Jones to this list, but I recently watched all of the Indiana Jones movies and I only liked one, but I don't remember which one it was. I thought they all sucked, except for one, but I can't remember which one. Uh, do you remember which one I liked? I think I watched all of them, if I'm not mistaken. I watched... I know I watched The Holy Grail. I know I watched... Yeah, I think I liked Raiders. Raiders of the Lost Ark. I think that's the one I liked. I think Holy Grail sucked, <laughs> and the other one Thank sucked, you. too. Uh, break time, Habibi. Uh, thanks, Faded. Thanks, Rolling for Whistles. Crystal Skull. I have a feeling I also watched that, though. What happens in Crystal Skull? Hey, uh, spoiler alert for you guys who give a fuck. Uh, I don't remember it. Aliens? Is there anything else that you can tell me about it? Because I don't remember that. Maybe I didn't watch it. I shouldn't have opened that. Maybe I didn't watch it. I don't know. I can't remember it. Maybe I watched the trailer and decided that it looks shitty. Where are you supposed to shoot here? Oh, maybe these big dudes. Are you healing, dude? Oh, that took a grip. The 
This game fucking sucks. Kojima up to his old antics I'm not that hype about GTA 6 people bring up GTA 6 <laughs> like you. dude that's gonna be like such a bad time GTA 6 is gonna like bring on this new era of getting ripped off by games that are in the hands of people who are bitches that you love you love the game but Man, they're gonna show you some crazy strategies that they've come up with. Some highly exploitative shit. They do that. Like, Rockstar uh, has some seriously, amazingly, like, highly exploitative type of shit going on for their old ass fucking game that's been on three different PlayStation generations GTA 5. Just imag imagine what they're going to do when everyone gives a fuck about their game. Oh, that reminds me. You know, I heard somewhere that there's an issue with RP servers. Is that true? Did Grand Theft Auto, like, Rockstar put an end to that or something? It's about fucking time. GTA 5 RP has to be... If I could choose one thing that I would never watch, that's what it is. They banned NFT and crypt crypto talk. What does that mean? Cool. Yeah, I've never been a fan of RP GTA 5 RPing. I prefer RPing in non GTA 5. You can talk about it on servers. I don't know. It sounds weird. Too political. <laughs> RP and IRL? People do that. Uh, people do that, don't they? They, like, go around and, like, uh, do lightning bolts. I myself haven't done that, but I've known many pretty girls who do. Even that game, uh, Dungeons and Dragons, I've known multiple pretty girls who have been into Dungeons and Dragons, and they're into it. They do that shit. Yeah, for fun. Excuse me. I've never done it myself, but I have considered it, and... I've come to the conclusion that if I could manage to get laid otherwise, I will. But, you know, it doesn't mean... You never know. But I'd rather, like, watch a movie that I don't want to watch or something like that, you know? A lot of people like it. It's not uncommon. And like I said, it seems to be one of those things that pretty girls like like Animal Crossing and shit shitty hot pot yeah that's another thing you gotta do to get get laid shitty hot pot hey Ollie thanks uh thanks very much thanks Skelly Man and <laughs> King Thank Murdoch you. and Freak Master you guys got any cool ideas on games to play uh, I need to get to December 2nd. What do you think? Because this was not a good idea. What's faith? Ari 1. I've heard of it. I played Silent Hill 1 recently. It was awesome. Love that game. 
These are some weird recommendations. Faith is a horror game? It is? I'll Google it. Let me Google that shit real quick. You bought it? Uh-oh. You're saying I already own this game? E F Whoa I do own this game Overwhelmingly positive I wonder how much I bought this for It's on sale right now for 12 bucks Probably paid full price like a schmuck Hey is this game any good? It's called Faith. <clears throat> Excuse me. No, it's okay. Too scary. Yeah, but you're a pussy, dude. You gotta be brave like me. Never get scared. It has a lot of reading? Fuck. Reading sucks. If I wanted to read, I would play Parasite Eve. That game was so cool. When I was a kid, at least. I wonder if I still would think it's cool. I'll never know, because I'm not going to read all that shit. But Parasite Eve is tight. I think I've played Parasite Eve 2 on stream. The Joe Rogan of fighting games? What does that mean? <laughs> Thank you. Shut up, bitch. Try being funnier. Can you believe Joe Rogan was a stand-up comedian? Or maybe still is? That guy has never been funny once ever in the history of time. I can't believe that guy was a comedian. How? If he could do it, then he must be your inspiration. That people like him are the reason you keep trying to make jokes. Because I'm always over here like fucking perplexed. What gave this guy the idea that he should be making a joke? It's people like Joe Rogan. Damn it. We got a bunch of Joe Rogans in here. Uh, thanks, Meltman and Freak Master. I mean, it's one thing to like him. It's another thing to think he's funny. Like, alright. Yeah, lots of people like him, like his podcast. Uh, but do you think he's a good comedian, though? That is a different story. People like Seinfeld. Seinfeld is one of those weird anomalies, isn't he? He's not very funny. <laughs> that guy is not funny. Uh, and he's never really been funny. In fact, he's probably the worst character on the show. If you had to, like, rank them. He is not that funny. But, I mean, the situations are good. You know, but that's all Larry David shit. Yeah, it seems like Larry David was the ultimate mastermind behind Seinfeld. Like, Seinfeld got lucky. Jim Carrey is the best comedian? I don't think Jim Carrey is a comedian, or ever has been, has he? Maybe he's done a little bit of stand up, but he's a comedy actor. It's a little different. He was on, not Saturday Night Live. I mean, yeah, he's been on Saturday Night Live, but he started on In Living Color, which was that Saturday Night Live, but it was mostly black people except for just him, which was what made it so cool. He was really good on that show. I used to watch it. <coughs> Jennifer Lopez was one of the fly girls on that show before she became famous. She was totally some, like, random ass girl in the background shaking her ass around before commercials and then she became like a world level like icon that show like made a lot of really famous celebrities 
She was, yeah, she was a fly girl. Thanks, news. Hey, Stacy, thanks. Thanks for the one year subscription. Happy Thanksgiving. Thanks, Melt Man. One of the Wayans bros was the DJ on the Living Color. I think all of the Wayans bros were something on the in Living Color, right? I'm pretty sure. Jamie Foxx was, uh, yeah, he was on that. Uh, all of the Wayans bros uh, were on that shit. All of them. The bald one, uh, the one from uh, the one with the like condoms in his dreads and Don't Be a Menace. Uh, all of them. I've watched Curb Your Enthusiasm, but not the new ones. I've only watched like the first, you know, the first run, and then it did a comeback. I think there's like two seasons at least since the comeback. I haven't watched any of the new ones. Yeah, I've heard they're pretty good, and I probably will watch them. Three more seasons? Wow. Uh, I should check that out. I like that guy. I like his attitude of like... Uh, I just don't want to do it, you know? Like, uh, I just recently saw a clip from the new, uh, series where, like, everyone thanks this military guy for his service, and it, like, Larry doesn't thank him, and the guy gets butthurt about it, and everyone, like, gets mad at Larry, but he's like, dude, everyone just got done thanking him for his service, I didn't want to thank him, you know? I like that attitude. <laughs> you know what, man? I didn't want to thank him. And that's the end of that. It's pretty funny. I haven't seen the actual episode, but I did uh, see that clip, and I thought it was pretty funny. Obviously, like a total dick. These guys, it's funny because that's how people his age are. People Larry David's age, he's doing like bits on people that are exactly like that. Just for no reason stubborn assholes. Too old to want to conform. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, thanks, Triangle Strat and Snooze. Thanks, bros. Yeah, it sounds pretty cool. I just haven't, like, uh, started because, you know, I don't really like TV shows. It's kind of like one of those things where I'll get around to it eventually. It's nice to have that on the back burner, but I'm not trying to watch a TV show. Nah. Yeah, TV shows are too addictive and the design of them is just not my thing. I don't like it. I have an addictive personality, so you just always consume them in this weird way. It's so similar to eating, like, Doritos. Like, you can't just eat a Dorito. You can't. Just one? Never heard of that. And TV shows are like that. And I don't like that. Because they don't pay off. At least Doritos pay off with delicious shit. TV shows? Like, okay, so let's say you watch an episode of a show and it only gives you a morsel of advancement in the overall story arc. And you're frustrated, so you want to watch one more because of the cliffhanger. At the end of one Dorito, you're not like, oh, that episode sucked. I guess I'll watch one more. Trying to farm for some satisfaction. I mean, you're eating another one because the last one was fucking good. And that's not exactly like TV shows. TV shows suck. Not a fan. But it doesn't mean I won't watch them again. Ugh, excuse me. That guy got shot. What'd you do, man? I totally ignored you. Yeah, I usually don't. I mean, like, dude, if you put yourself in my position, you are some random asshole with a red name off the internet. And I'm giving you the luxury of putting links in my chat room. So instead of using that luxury wisely, you're just going to say, watch this and put a link in the chat. And you think I'm just going to click on this random shithead's link? And you think you're going to survive that? That's the thing. You're. This is like some natural selection shit going on here. You're too dumb. To even know that you're in danger. Uh, I'm not clicking that. Anyway. Watch this. Hey, happy Big Friday. Um, I don't know. This game fucking stinks, dude. Makes me want to eat dinner. 
I also gotta think of something that doesn't stink to play. Something that really is cool. Uh, that way I won't be like, man, this game sucks. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, RE1 is pretty cool. Pizza is pretty cool. Hey, how did um, God of War turn out? Now that it's old news. <laughs> Thank you. It doesn't even like like uh, pay off in the story department. Thanks, Rassler and groceries. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Johnny Big Time. People saying it sucks ain't got a PS5 wall. Uh, come on, you could say that about some games, but. Come on, man. Are you kidding? I got two PS5s and I think it sucks. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> anyway. Thank you. Uh, but that doesn't mean you have to think it sucks. Mm, thanks, Frost. Fuck you. <laughs> Good response. That's what I would say when I got on too. Oh, fuck. Well, fuck you. Anyway, you got a good point there. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Greed Boys. I don't know, I'll probably like go for a walk and order some groceries. And think about something fun to play. The other things I was thinking of playing today were uh, poker or Call of Duty or I guess this and that's it. Those were the three games that I was debating over. The new Carl was not terrible but really felt so similar and I'm kind of annoyed that I can't use Bruce Willis. Like they didn't really even need to make this new Carl. It feels like just like the old one. It feels just like the old one and you can't use the shit you paid for. I think that's a little annoying. Like feels really similar it's the overwatch strat yeah it worked out so well with overwatch mm, you know what I mean it actually did maybe it did that's the thing dude I heard that the new Pokemon was like awful and the best-selling game in the history of Nintendo Man, that sucks. Think about that, man. It's full of bugs. It's absolute trash. Everyone is so pissed off about it, and it's the best-selling game in the history of Nintendo. If you were that dumb fuck Nintendo, like, you know, the guy who goes before he tells you about something that sucks every time, well, if you were that guy, you would be thinking, I am the fucking greatest decision maker in the history of video games. I'm so sick. I just sold the best-selling game in the history of Nintendo, and I had a bunch of five-year-old morons make it. First time ever making a game. So smart. And that's going to encourage them to make another worthless piece of shit next time on a worthless console, too. Man, that sucks. And I'm not even a Pokemon fan. I'd, I've never even played a game with a Pokemon in it, and I'm butthurt over that. So if you're a Pokemon fan, or a Nintendo fan, I mean, I guess I am a Nintendo fan. But those guys are really losing uh, everything, man. You can't, you can't, I don't know. After, I don't know if it was fucking Metroid Golf or Mario Dread, but around that time, I thought to myself, these guys are fucking dicks. Uh, these games <laughs> are expensive, you. this console is underpowered, and all these games are so phoned in. It's like, you know when you go to the dollar store and they have, like, Angry Green Man in, like, Hulk font? Th that's how these fucking Nintendo games feel these days. Made in Tijuana, fucking random ass shit, like, you know, golf or soccer or whatever. 
You could totally tell these games are bullshit and made up. Nah. Oh well. Mario Billiards? Thanks, Co op Couple69. Thanks for the sub. RE4 Remake will save gaming. I mean, I think RE4 Remake will be great. Uh, and there are other things that are great still. It's not completely over. Uh, but we'll be there soon. I think easily within, I don't know, maybe the next 10 years. Give it 10 years. It's The thing is, it's a slow burn. And the problem with it hey, being so slow, it's like... About uh, to eat big tacos with big limes, amigo. Greetings from Chang Wan. Hey, all right. Thanks, Perky Anime Tits. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I was talking about how the whole gaming industry has gone to shit, but it's been so gradual that you don't really notice. Like, you start to move the goalposts so much with all these, like... Oh, is this acceptable? Pay to win? And then it just gets so crazy. It's really slow. You notice, but you accept it, right? I mean, if it went from zero to where it is now, it would be unacceptable. But because it's gradual, it's kind of like the difference between gaining 20 pounds or picking something up that weighs 20 pounds. You know what I mean? That's a really big difference. You don't even notice it. You're just eating cheeseburgers and getting fat. But when you pick up 20 pounds, it's like, man, 20 pounds is heavy as fuck. You know? So when it's gradual, uh, you don't notice it as much. Mm, I guess this stemmed from uh, Pokemon. The new Pokemon game came out, and it's unanimously, like... Everyone hates it for it being so buggy and performing so poorly and being unfinished. And simultaneously, it is Nintendo's best-selling game in their history of their company. <laughs> so, unfortunately, that encourages them to continue making products that suck and slapping Mario Golf on it to make money. That's the problem that really is the issue in the end. Don't worry, we still have Nikkei. <sighs> I'm looking forward to December. I'm getting sick of November. Um, thanks, Dolabite. And uh, thank you again, Perky Anime Titties. Good lord. I think I could use a walk. I'll think really hard about what I decide to play tomorrow, and whatever it is, I'm hoping that it's super fucking tight. Today's game, the only good thing about it was you. Mm. But, we'll see. PoE, I wish I would play if I got into that beta. I didn't get in. But, I think that me not getting into the beta is a I think that's actually a sign from Gamblor because you know in history many times I've regretted playing betas when they're going as the beta is happening I always feel left out and I hate that feeling um but <laughs> I think you. sometimes it's worth it just fucking man up and be left out Cause it'll be worth it be patient yeah i heard ruthless is great people really like it i had a feeling that would be the case people are just bitches uh but yeah i'll play it when it comes out i think it's december 9th so december 2nd there are other things too that i'm forgetting but the things that i do remember december 2nd is deadly protocol or whatever uh i'm a big fan and december 8th is jeff Keeley's birthday December 9th is the PC launch of PoE. Uh, but there's something on December 5th, too, that I don't remember. Uh, yeah, Callisto Protocol. Need for Speed Unbound? Nah. Why do you care about Jeff Keighley? 
Very hey, what's true. up, new guy? Jeff Keighley's birthday is what I call anything where Jeff Keighley is on the screen talking. Uh, it's just what I call it. It's not actually Jeff Keighley's birthday, and I don't care about Jeff Keighley. I don't give a fuck about that guy. In fact, I don't even think <laughs> he's a human. I think he is some kind of flesh-covered robot designed to sexually please Hideo Kojima. Uh, anyway... I don't really like to explain myself, especially not to some new guy who's already probably dead. Anyway. Happy Thanksgiving. Uh, thanks, Pretzel. And Sacco Cat. Thanks, Ghost Barty. Party. Barty. I'm drink some water. Anyway, yeah, I don't give a fuck about Jeff Keighley. Uh, but he's gonna be doing a some kind of game awards or something on the 8th and I'm gonna restream that that's the relevance of it all these things that I'm bringing up are things that are related to you <laughs> otherwise you. I wouldn't really bring them up I don't think I guess I could but in this case related to you <sighs> clown shoes Thanks, Guts. Boy, I was thirsty. Anyway. Well, it was fun. Chat room, it always is. Thanks for keeping me company. Uh, there's always a possibility that I'll come back, but no promises. It really depends. Uh, thanks for hanging out and spending the day with me. Peruvian stir-fried rice with meat and spicy sauce. That sounds awesome. I have to start thinking about dinner because... I don't really have anything, and uh, getting groceries is boring as fuck. Maybe I'll order something delicious. You guys uh, enjoy the rest of your day, will ya? I'll see you tomorrow, or maybe later. We'll see. Take care. Thanks again. See ya. <laughs>